So millennials earn about 20% less than their parents and have double the student loans. So where's everyone getting all this money to travel? Well, Emily Kaufman, AKA the Travel Mom, is here to tell us how. And last time you were here, we talked about a lot of products that millennials use to travel, which you always come with good ideas. But today we wanna to kind of talk about where millennials go and how they can afford to do it. So give us a load on. Well, millennials travel in a much different way than their parents did. And they're not looking to go stay at the top fancy resort resorts and lie by the pool. They're really looking for, for places that are immersive and experiential and cultural and they're much more creative about how they stay at these places. For example, in Central America, people want to go and be outdoors and have activities, whether it's hiking or creating that Instagrammable moment. Um, people want to give back. Volunteerism is a very big thing. I went and painted a school uh, one place. Also, Puerto Rico. That economy is dependent on us for their sustainability. So Puerto Rico is coming back, we wanna go visit. And a hot, hot, hot spot in a place that people from Chicago really wanna go right now, the Caribbean. So easy to get to the Caribbean, so many nonstop flights. And the way to stay in the Caribbean is Airbnb. Airbnb.com slash Caribbean, you can find all kinds of accommodations, whether you're looking for a cozy beachfront cottage or a chic apartment or a villa, they've got everything from basic service and amenities all the way to an all-inclusive experience where a chef can cook for you. They also, I'm, I'm sort of a technology ding-dong, as <laughs> some people my age are, and their airbnb.com slash Caribbean site allows you to tick off the different boxes of things that you're looking for, makes it super easy to book and create the vacation experience that you want. And something else, I know you guys have been talking a lot about gift giving. If there's a traveler in your life that's on your list, they do gift cards that they sell through Amazon. It's a good way to give somebody the gift of travel. That's so cool that you can, so you basically go through the website and you say like, I like to be outside or I want to be on a beach or like whatever you're into, I need a and full then they kitchen. help tailor where yep. you should go. Do they choose like the type of um, like housing that you stay in, or do they choose like the actual like country or? City? Well, you no no you get to choose where you want to go okay. and visit, and then they give you a list and you can select what's important to you. Again, so if you're with a family, I want a full kitchen. If I'm traveling with little kids, yes. I want to make breakfast. Maybe you're going for something romantic. You want a chef to come in and cook for you. Airbnb.com slash Caribbean and helps it, you do that. And you mentioned a chef. So normally, like in the States, that would seem so expensive. But in the Caribbean, it's probably more affordable, right? It is more affordable and more doable. And like I said at the beginning, millennials will travel in a different way where you want those experiences. You want the local culture, local flavor. There's no better way to do that than have somebody come in and cook for you. I love seeing this change in that travel trend too because it's no longer just like stuff in your face and eating at a buffet and like laying around. You're like, I wanna get outside, I wanna have these experiences and that's like, I feel like that's the currency is experiences, I right? I think that you're absolutely right. Experiential is the big buzzword. I mentioned to you that I'm, I'm giving away a terrific gift card with Airbnb. Yeah, so what's my, with that? I have a Facebook page and an Instagram page, The Travel Mom. I don't sell anything on those pages. It's a positive, kind, supportive, uplifting community where my goal is to inspire, motivate, and encourage people to have new experiences. My kids are 28 and 26, and I'm so grateful to have them understand the world as a plane ride away. So go to your um, Instagram and Facebook, and she's giving away a $500 Airbnb gift card. That can go pretty far. That's like five nights somewhere in a lot of places. In a lot Very of places. Cool. All right, well, thank you so much, Emily. Thank you. And if you guys want more travel tips, just head over to Emily's website at thetravelmom.com.